welcome to my youtube channel grade 6 science today our lesson is light and vision you all know light is an energy that is sensitive to our eye light travels very fast around 300,000 kilometers per second at this speed, it can go around the world 8 times in 1 second. Now we will do this activity to find out how can we see. First, take a cardboard box with a lid. Then, cut a hole at the center of the lid similar in size of a 50 cent coin. Cut another small hole on one side of the box as shown in the figure. Now keep a small object in the middle of the box and close the lid. Then close the hole on the top of the lid with the 1 rupee coin. First observe the object through the hole at the side of the box. Now take away the coin and direct the light of the torch through the hole. Then observe the object through the hall at the side of the box again. Then at the first instance, instance, you will not see the object inside the box. In the second instance, you can see the object through the small hall. In the second occasion, light rays comes to the object and reflects and comes to our eye through the small hall. So we can see the object. So light is needed to see something clearly. To have a good vision, not only light but also the eye is important. The main factors which are needed to see are the sources of light and the eye. Sources of light. Objects which emit light are known as sources of light. Now we will find out what luminous objects are. The objects which can produce their own light is called luminous objects. Here are some examples. Now think of the sun. Sun produces light and emit. So sun is a luminous object. Stars, all these stars like sun produce light and emit. So stars are luminous objects. Then a lighted lamp and lighted bulb also emit their own light. So they are luminous objects. Glowworm, firefly and some types of mushrooms produce their own light. So they are also luminous. Now we will find out about non-luminous objects. Objects which do not emit light are known as non-luminous objects. To get the vision of such an object, a light ray of a luminous object must fall on it. Now think of the moon. Moon can't emit its own light. Moon emits sunlight by reflecting. So moon is a non-luminous object. All the other planets also non-luminous objects. In your surrounding you can see different types of objects. Table, chair, pen, book. All are non-luminous objects. You can see them because of the reflection of light. Now we will find out about transmission of light to objects. You can do this activity. You can light a candle and fix on the table. Then use a piece of cardboard with a hole. And through the hole you can observe the flame of the candle. 
then you can get different objects you can place the object between the flame and the hall and observe and try to find out whether the flame can be seen or not after the activity you can fill this table black color paper light and flame of candle cannot be seen then decorative glass thin piece of glass like that you can select different things and fill the table after doing the activity you can understand this light can be clearly seen when look through some objects even the flame of the candle can be seen clearly light can be seen but flame cannot be seen clearly through some objects both the light and the flame of the candle cannot be seen through some objects now you can do this activity you can find a bottle and fill the bottle with a liquid and place on the table in one side you can fix a lighted candle and through the bottle you can observe the flame then change the liquid and observe now complete the following table glass transparent papers cardboard and you can use more items if you get glass you can see the flame so it is transparent instances used in a frame photo tissue papers if you look through the tissue paper you can't see the flame clearly so it is translucent instances used in a vesak lantern if you use a cardboard sheet you can't see the flame of the candle so it is opaque example in a shoe book shoe box you can't see the shoes inside the box when we look through some objects we can see both the object and the light clearly the reason is that light is transmitted well through such objects they are called transparent objects examples glass transparent colorless polythene water when we look through some objects although the light can be seen the objects cannot be seen clearly such objects are known as translucent objects examples oil papers unclear water colored yellow paint paper when we look through most of the objects we cannot see either the light or the object they are known as opaque objects example cardboard wood metal paper tar now we'll find out about light rays and light beams for that you can arrange this activity according to the diagram you can fix a lighted candle and fix three cardboard sheets vertically as shown there should be a tiny hole at the center of the cardboard sheet and you can insert a thread through the hole and then you can observe from the final sheet and observe the flame of the candle you can adjust the cardboard sheets so that clearly flame can be seen you are able to observe the flame because the light travels from flame to the eye through the holes when the holes are in a straight line the flame could be observed and when they are not in a straight line flame couldn't be seen so light is transmitted only in a straight line in the above activity the string which was put through the hole shows the 
path of the right way. You can do this activity also. You can get a rubber tube and fix a lighted candle. Observe through the rubber tube when the rubber tube in the straight way. Then you can see the flame of the candle. Then you can bend the rubber tube and observe. Then you will not be able to see the flame of the candle. The narrow path in which light is transmitted known as a light ray. To show a light ray we use a straight line with a narrow. What is called a light beam? A light beam is made up of a collection of light rays. Several straight lines with arrow heads are used to show a light beam. To observe a light beam, you can do this activity. You can light some your sticks and produce smoke in a bottle. Then you can direct a light by a laser torch. Then you will see the light beam through the smoke. And you can get soap dissolved water into a bottle and direct a laser beam. Then also you can observe a light beam. Now we'll find out about applications of light. There are several applications in our day to day life. For the production of food in plants, that is a natural process. To give a clear vision, light is needed. To give signals for communication in the medical field, for entertainment, for illumination. One use of light is to give a clear vision. Earlier, people received light from natural objects such as the sun, the moon and stars. With the development of technology, the light bulb was invented to get light. Today, there are many types of bulbs in the market. You can see different types by this diagram. For illumination process, light is needed. At present, most of the countries in the world use different colored and patterned bulbs to illuminate various occasions. Examples, marketplaces, populated streets, shopping complexes, advertisements. And in festivals like Vesak, Deepavali and Christmas, light is used. As signals, we use light. An instance where light is used to give signals is the light used in lighthouses. They release a powerful beam of light which gives the signal to the sailors that the land is close. In traffic light, you may have seen the colors red, green and yellow. For communication, telephone messages are transmitted through optic fibers. Telephone connection networks across the main cities of Sri Lanka have been built using optic fibers. Optic fibers are used to connect computer networks and high standard audio visual equipment. They use optic fibers and laser rays to send telephone messages and to maintain internet connections. When a light ray passes through an optic fiber, total internal reflection is taken place. So light beam is not weakened 
as a strong being light can be passed to the other end of the optic fiber optical fibers are a type of flexible fibers which are made up of special type of glass or plastic an optic tube is called a collection of such fibers the use of such tubes to transport light is called optic fiber technology in the medical field at present doctors use laser rays to treat eye patients in heart operations and to treat various wounds in the digestive system with the use of optic fibers the interior parts of the body are easily observed here the equipment used to lighten the interior of the body is called the endoscope by using endoscope inner side of the digestive system can be observed and get a copy also in the stomach we can get gastroscopy for entertainment in musical shows and fairs light is used in a large scale they use spotlights of different colors to light up the stage even lights are used in toys designed for children for the production of food in plants production of food in plants is the main advantage of light that process is called photosynthesis for the photosynthesis process sunlight is obtained from the sun water is obtained from the soil carbon dioxide is obtained from the atmosphere so with the presence of chlorophyll and sunlight carbon dioxide and water reacts together and produce glucose and oxygen glucose is the main product of this photosynthesis process oxygen is the by product of the process due to this process atmosphere will be purified light travels much faster than sound thunder and lightning start at the same time but we will see the light in first that is due to the speed of light is greater than the speed of sound when a starting pistol is fired we see the smoke first and then hear the bang we see things because they reflect light into eyes now due to sunlight this object can be seen the object reflect the sunlight and light rays comes to our eye so we can see the object so reflection is needed to see the different objects in our environment now we will refer to the properties of light light travels in straight lines light travels much faster than the sound we see things because they reflect light into our eyes shadows are formed when light is blocked by an object now we have come to the end of the lesson in this lesson you have learned light and vision how vision needs taken place factors needed for the vision luminous and non luminous objects transparent translucent and opaque objects light rays and light beams uses of light we'll meet again in another lesson so subscribe my channel and click the bell icon thank you